We've all got something to drink. We do. We've got, we've got mint tea. Cheers. We've got water. Cheers. Water. We've got my yeah. favourite mug, which has got... That's printed <clears> on. <throat> Might as well not do that. Yeah, well, exactly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> all of them are going to look like that. And we have guest star Roshni. Hello, Roshni. Hello. Who is here today. And life is unpredictable. So we thought we would take advantage. And smell lots of yummy things. Smell lots of things. So we've all picked some things mm -hmm. um, to talk about, to smell, to appreciate, and say what we think think because I give people instructions in the can't they can't be at a course I send them out a thing and I say smell stuff and write down what you think and people just go and they go it what do you smells. mean what do, I, what, what, what do I think you mean like do I know what it is no it doesn't have to be that. it's like does it remind you of a thing does it have a color or does it have a sound or does it take you anywhere or what is it and People often don't know how because they've never thought about that before. And sometimes it's really hard to describe smells without knowing what language to use because there isn't necessarily the language. Yeah, not mm. in English anyway. There are some other countries, like uh, the middle of um, like eastern islands where people live deep in jungles where they've got so many different ways of describing scent I've been learning about this. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They think about things in a completely different way. And whereas you give Westerners... Um, or people who've been brought up in Western cultures, that something to smell, they try to identify the thing. Mm -hmm. And this particular culture, you say to them, what's that? And they go, well, that one's eggy, that one's pooey, that one's fishy. And they, so they have classifications. <laughs> oh, but they don't mean that's a bad thing. They mean, oh, thank you. And one for Arthur? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, God, off-camera man needs his own <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. Um, otherwise it really wouldn't be the same. Because you see, I can see, but I promise mm. I knew what it was. And so you see, Arthur doesn't know what it is yet. Do you know what it is? It's bergamot. Yes, it is. How do you describe it, though? Eggy. Pooey. <laughs> <laughs> and fishy. And, yes. Um, orangey. Leafy and fruity. Orangey and lemony and citrusy. I think it's quite bitter and green and... Wow. I want to bite it as well. See, I think tea, tea like crunchy almost. Yeah, I mean, because tea. because of the old grain thing. Association. Yes. Yeah. Because most people, mm. when they smell bergamot, that's they, the first thing they can think of. Yeah. The the only time they've smelt it before is usually getting out a tea bag, opening a packet of tea when it's Earl Grey, and mm. you get this hit bergamot. I love it's also super sparkly. Like it's just got so much like fizz and yeah, you can almost kind of like feel mm -hmm. sparkly bit. Mm -hmm. Like it's gold dust kind of thing. It is bright, isn't it? Hmm. See, when you say green... I think it's very green to me. But like in a dark, bitter green way. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> getting away. So you've got too much language to describe so. <laughs> yes. I... Uh, the minute you said... Because to me it's always been very yellow. Hmm. But now you're saying green... I just can I know what you mean. I reckon it's probably both, because like you've got the lightness and the fresh and sparkly part, which is probably more yellow and bright and yeah. golden, and then that like kind of bitter, dark, slightly I don't know foresty green. Yeah. Something a little bit like it's like it's got a dark side to it. Yeah, it does. Hmm. It's quite soapy. And again, I just like feel like biting it. I don't know why. I've already had my lunch, but... <laughs> Don't bite it, because it's in... It's very specific denatured alcohol one, and it's got vitrex in it. Ew. No. Um, it's interesting. I see it as far fewer things. Hmm. Just as I... And, and I wouldn't... I what, don't get golden. What do you associate with it? Um, I would get a pale green colour but not a green smell in perfumery terms. No, yeah. I don't it's not leafy to me and I think of green in perfumery. I don't think it is a bit leafy. leafy. I, I'm not arguing with you. No, I just uh, think that's just interesting. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't have do leafiness like from it. I'm more But even um, that tea association is not necessarily a tea leaf, it's more the mm -hmm. tea drink. It's just the Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. What what thoughts come waving up as I think about it is not um, I don't have so many things bobbing about, but for me, golden is too heavy. Mm, but I mean like in the kind of shimmery, sparkly golden, not like a everything's chunky golden. Not Midas 
yeah. turning your life into hell golden. But something, something I just don't really like about the word, which is why it's so individual, because, because golden yeah. for me is kind of not, I don't have good associations Interesting. with Interesting, I'm thinking more like dappled light golden. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Biscuits. I got that. I get biscuits. Biscuits. Yeah, I like. Wow. Like, I don't know. It's probably a Duchy of Cornwall poshest biscuits ever with bergamot rinds or something like <laughs> wow. that. Wow. Waitrose. So a bergamot is a citrus fruit, isn't it? Mm. It is. It's a kind of an orange. Potentially a cross of like a hybrid between an orange and a lime, but it looks kind of like an ugly lumpy green orange. No. Oh. That's a, a actually sorry. No. That's <laughs> that was a mistake from Google. It doesn't. That's the the um, lime. It's got a. It's a lime that the Pettigrain's made out of. Actually, that's a different fruit, and it is green, but it's very smooth, and it looks like an orange. Oh, so it's more well, like I've a kind of green grapefruit. The, the Many, ones. and it's being corrected. That's Christoph, so I know, isn't it? Because everybody thought that that's what it looked like. And then it became apparent it wasn't. And Christoph Lodemiel has, has had a post on this as well. Because um, if you if you used to Google bergamot, you got masses of pictures. Because most of people don't thing. just have it in their garden. Really. No, yeah. somebody went and put that up some That's some point. So some point, labelled it, Google picked it up, and all Google images of bergamot used to be the lumpy lime-like thing and now they're getting it right because you can get them delivered now from a car. So is um, <laughs> um, a mojito is made with limes in it? Lime, yeah. Imagine making more bergamot, it'd be well bougie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Imagine. do it. Sure. Well you know how the, the cocktail <laughs> makers, so nice. the perfumers always make great cocktails I think that. Yeah. Yeah, we will make, but, well last time, last time I was in Waitrose they had the sign up, bergamot, there weren't any, they'd all gone. Wow, right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to get some bergamot. Yeah. Pretty sure and the cupboard downstairs has a few things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next, next time we'll just have cocktails in the family. And it also Let's has lots of mint in it as well, doesn't it? What's Mocky a really talk. fancy version of a mint? <laughs> oh, well, it's good um, though, mint. Segway. Aha. <laughs> well okay. done. This that was really good. Thing. It's Thank almost you. rehearsed. Yeah. But, so, I mean, I, I kind of do have a point from that. Because it's, well, I, I don't see it in my head the way that everybody else sees it in their heads as long as we know that's what it is oh i wanted to ask you because mm. you often have cinematic experience with fragrances and but with what does it sound like? yeah <laughs> to you what does bergamot sound like mm -hmm. what kind of associations do you have it's quite simple it's a simple a single note that's why i think i see things in my head very simply. I don't get lots of different views because I get one single note, which chord it is in, what it will harmonise with, and it tends not to be lots of complex But things. what sort of instrument would you maybe associate? I would try not to, in case I spoil it for myself, but I would say it's probably clarinet. Mm. I'd go with something smaller, sharper. Really? A piccolo. No, it's not a piccolo, oh, it's, is it's it? Not like, it's definitely just, not a piccolo. Well, it can be a high note on a clarinet. No, it's still... But it is... It's in a chord, but I... I yes. This is why it's so, much, it's so important for people to write down what they think, because they'll mm, get the reminders nice back. Because... If I were to write down piccolo for this, it would mean nothing to me if I smelt it in the past because that association doesn't exist in my head, unless I wanted to create a new one. Mm -hmm. So I always try to encourage people to write down just what, what they feel. Um, although, as you say, you know, as soon as you think yellow and as soon as green is mentioned, green comes in. Green. Yeah, but then again, I am highly susceptible when it comes to smell. But I think that's part of what's Susceptible, about... suggestible, sorry. Well, oh, both maybe. But I think um, that's part of what's fun about exploring fragrances together as well, because you kind of expand your repertoire mm -hmm. of like how you associate it as well. Yes. Mm. So, for example, the fact—oh, wow, cool. the fact that you. I did this attempt at sound. Ooh, la, la, that knocked me off. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's,
Wrigley's. It's neat. It is peppermint, as we say. It's so weird. most people have some kind of memory anyway, some association with peppermint. So it's not so hard. You don't have to start on your whole new ones. It's just Wrigley's. Wrigley's. Sugar-free <laughs> gum. Mm. No, for me, I got that as well, but I haven't had a mint chocolate chip ice cream in, like, forever. Because, as I mentioned, I can't have any dairy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, and, yeah, I just... Somewhere in my memory is the mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, it is and that. It, it, it is that mint. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. that one. And also so, after eights. Yeah. I've got an after eight in my pocket, in my coat downstairs. I think we're just thinking of chocolate as well with this now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is quite funny, because it's not in itself... Yeah. But our brains just go, oh, we always have this like, chocolate. Mm, I want to taste this, yeah. Because we used to make, when in the school holidays, we used to be allowed to make our own um, peppermint creams. And sometimes we'd melt chocolate and dip it in that as well. Mm. Then what, what, what's, peppermint. what's that? What's peppermint cream? A peppermint cream is basically um, icing sugar, glycerin, and um, peppermint oil. Mm. All mixed together, and then you roll them out and cut them out with a little um, cutter, mm -hmm. and then you leave them to set, and then it's a, it's a basic evil. It's just sugar. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And then you can dip them in chocolate, and then you put them in a little box and give them to your grandmother for Christmas, and they go, oh, lovely pet, and the <laughs> fingerprints would be little, you know, ten year old wow. fingerprints would be all over them. But that, so we can get boxes of peppermint creams as well, which are better made than that. But it's, it's basically an after eight, because that's yeah, all. Yeah. It's, it's a flat. Maybe, it's a flat. Maybe less it's a, gooey. Yeah, less gooey. But yeah, that's basically it. So in yeah. this, I don't. Oh. I don't, I'm not a big fan of mint in any form. It just doesn't really do it for me. And what you have to do with it in perfume, which is what I really got into, is the tiniest dose, and things just go. So potent. Bing. Is this five percent yeah. or ten percent? Um, I lied. That bottle's at 100. Like, that's <laughs> why it's why. knocking out our heads I was going to say, like, this is really... This is why it's knocking out our heads It's open my... Yeah, it's open my, my sinuses. What I would... Yeah. I think that th what this is, is it's less... It's a less emotional smell, and it's a more physical response. Like, I can feel it actively touching. Like, I can feel it connecting yeah, with... Can, your eyes are almost watering with, as yeah, well. Yeah, with my eyes and my sinuses, my sinuses. I can feel it having a physical effect on me which is why i think it would and be exciting to have in a perfume because less about memory less about emotion yeah and more like an actual physical experience mm. it's still chocolate just whack it, it in the top like coolness as well yeah but it does yeah. work on the brain i almost feel like i'm breathing out super cool. oh, oh yeah. sorry, i am drinking peppermint tea so that's yeah. partly why <laughs> and it makes the peppermint tea seem really quite boring yeah when it's really bland and pleasant um but yeah it does still get your brain <laughs> Yes, it's like very good nose for... Yeah, yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> well, that's the trigeminal oh, effect, isn't it? Yeah. It affects the trigeminal nerve, so you get that feeling of coolness. And that, that's, another, that's another thing that I mean with the physical response. Mm. Yes, because there's a real one. It's good stuff, though. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> anyway. My eyeballs and my nose are nice and cool now. <laughs> 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 like Should we warm it up with some pet thing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> Oh okay. <laughs> I've been there before. Yeah. Okay. Pe pe um, people who who um yeah. who mm -hmm. watch who've is it going to be well, no, solid? Yeah, probably. But the people thing about it is, on the journey no, what this. it is is that there's always a tiny little bit down the little uh, crevice. Or well, you can stick it under your armpit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would have <laughs> could. Like, like bagpipes. Oh. Should be. Okay, I'm glad Just that you love cashmere as well. Yeah. I really love cashmere. I'll just sniff the lid out, yeah. <laughs> You're fine, that's what I'm doing. Yes. And it's so textural as well. It's just... It's just... Uh, it's everything I want, ever. <laughs> In your entire life. Yeah. It's an extraordinary thing. And this is how we walk it up in the lab. Yeah. <laughs> this is, um... Yeah, I mean, people who have watched lots of these videos, I think there's one where I first smelled this. Yeah. And then immediately, thanks. You just wanted. Ah. So I made you a fragrance. <laughs> yeah, you now. did, yeah, which I'm wearing today. Which is a good thing. Oh, so because, nice. Yeah. This is cashmere and velvet, everybody. It is, but what the thing was that when we said that, 
people misheard it and thought we were calling it cashmere, cashmere and, velvet. and velvet. So it's cashmere and yeah. velvet. Cashmere and is a single molecule and cashmere and velvet is, it's actually a base. But I think all it's got added is timber silk or something similar. Mm. Oops. Okay. We'll didn't realise it was solid. Down. I mean, maybe we. I think I first came across this in summer. I might have diluted it. We might have Usually been working like with the literally room temperature, changing between solid and liquid. Right. It's yeah. Winter. That'll be why. It's still mushy. It's like it, it's like um, slightly melted snow the day after it fell, but without no, any gross it, stuff in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a, a bit crystalline or anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No muddy bits, but a little bit crystalline, mm. so it's just, you know, when it's snow that's melted and refrozen, and that kind of texture. But I love how, yeah, I mean, for, for me this is physical and this. emotional, I'd say. Wow. Wouldn't you? So it's, uh, yeah. Do you separate the two? To me it's... Uh, oh, really? Uh, sometimes. Like the way we were talking about the peppermint, it's a lot less emotional, even though it kind of gave me that association of... Yeah. Um, mint chocolate suit me but yeah i think because it's so it just feels so textural and tactile like you feel like you can wrap up in it and stuff it's, yes that's very true it's uh, it's very close yeah and it does also sit really close on the skin mine and last for ages yeah yeah it's mm. uh... i like the way that it like really sits on your skin for ages and ages and it's just like mm, cozy yeah. But despite the cosiness, I would call it quite cool as well, and almost metallic. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I was thinking it, it's, it smells to me like a blanket that's been left out in the car overnight on a frosty day. It's, that's a perfect image, I think. Wow, see, I get um, uh, a... Like, I've just been to a spice market and all of the spices have been sold. That's really good. I was about but to say. But it's like it's like it's like a memory of a spice. It's almost like um, like a bit of ghost sawdust spice. and cinnamon. Yeah. Like, yeah, that powdery ghost spice is a good way of putting it. <laughs> ghost spice. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do find it. There's like such a woodiness to it as well. It's woody. I tend to describe it as being like if you could make knitting yarn out of wood. Yeah. But it's definitely, it's... I'm smelling it with bergamot. Oh yeah, because that's what we've got. And boy, I'll oh the boy. mint away, because otherwise that will Oh probably... god, yeah. Like, it's really potent. Catch me around the bergamot. Yes, yeah, so and immediately mm. you get something completely different, and I don't know what it is. Because it doesn't, the bergamot no longer smells citrusy. Really? You think it doesn't smell very citrusy? It smells as if it's put a sheen, a sort of waxy sheen on the cashmere mm, and... So yeah. Clean. I mean, the, the oh, bergamot's kind good. of enfolded in it, so it doesn't stand out to me. I mean, I'm not saying the bergamot doesn't smell citrusy, I'm saying that the blend together to me does not. I would not immediately say, oh yeah, there's a citrus fruit in there. It smells like something new. I think it emphasises the greenness to me. See, I'm trying to picture what's happening in Roshni's head where all these green things come up, though where mine is just brown. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm saying in my mind's eye is the bottle because we're going to sell this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you going to name what? this fragrance with two ingredients? It's going to be called. Uh, Ghost spice. I think Ghost Spice. Ghost Spice is an excellent yeah. name. Let's we do can't it. <laughs> because Ghost, the fashion brand, has. Um, they don't have a spice. everything. No, but they own Ghost in Category 3 or whatever this Category 4 is, Cosmetics. Oh. Uh, what does that mean? That it they own the word? Very, it means that... But as a brand name, yeah. surely, not as a fragrance name. Same thing. A trademark's a trademark. It doesn't make any ghost. difference. I mean, brand is like, just it's, brand doesn't have a, a definition in law. So you literally can't use Ghost? Um... If you wanted to use That's it for spice. a cosmetic, you'd spooky have to... Spice. Spooky spice. <laughs> yeah. Let's not, we'll not get too much into the IP, but it would be very difficult. 
they could probably come up and say that they, you were trying to make it look as if you were um, mm -hmm. passing off your product as one of theirs and trading off their mm. brand. So, but also, spooky spice doesn't have the same effect. As um, like no, scary spice. <laughs> The dusty ghost of spices. Yeah, oh, so spice. there you go. let's not yeah. go there for any reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So not that then. Um, I would call it. I don't know. Come back to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll we normally take a bit longer. Let's add some more ingredients in. See what happens. It's your turn. Okay. Just you started. You don't have to. Okay. Oh, let's warm up <coughs> a bit. Excuse me. Well, I said last time, and then we got cashmere. Well, cashmere is. Both warm and cool. Okay, I can't even open this because it's. Like, what have you chosen? <laughs> oh god, the, the lid never comes off this. But I'm oh what? Smell it. Yeah. No, what we need to do is, uh, in order to melt this, it's basically glued on because it's glue. Do you um, have more muscle? Benzoin's glue, of course he does. <laughs> Benzoin's <Probably> glue, <laughs> in effect, the resin is glue. So what we have to do is take. Uh, ethanol, squirt it around the cap and release it. If I'd known you'd chosen that, I would say. Tell you what, let's get the small one off the shelf. Because <laughs> that's more like. No, it's okay, we've challenged other than that. I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, oh, I don't. Where, we have, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, no. Oh, right. Is it open? We've got it now. No. Okay. Go. Okay. Yes. That's not the small one. And then I would just say what it was. Thank you. It's so warm and like yeah. It really is. It's to um to me it's tiger balm. Yeah, there's definitely oh. a sort of or deep heat, probably that deep heat. Kind more of um, camphoric aspect that like, mm. gives you the cool after the heat. Yeah, it does smell as if you could put it on your. Um, Slightly Eggs. sore muscles and expect them to come out feeling a lot better. Well, they don't do that neat. Yeah, so benzoin. Or if your heating doesn't work. If your heating's been cut off and you just cover yourself in deep heat, don't you? To warm up. That's what they're doing with Nail and I. Oh, right. Yes. So I use this when... Usually if somebody has... Uh, attempting to make a fragrance and they say it seems to be missing something quite often the answer is this really yeah interesting yeah it I don't know if it's 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 helpful gluey aspect it that it it helps other things blend together better it provides a bridge between some of the brighter things and some of the deeper things mm. and some of the more like insular independent molecules Mm. I like that. Sounds like it should be a company. <laughs> the <laughs> um, Independent Molecule Company. I find it also quite floral in sort of the elang fruity floral way. And mm. then you've got that slightly camphoric side which gives you that deep heat effect where you're like, I don't feel so good, I'm gonna rub something in and like warm up and yeah. be taken care of by it. This takes care of you. <laughs> I agree. Yes, that's good stuff. Um, restricted, so we can't pour as much in as we would love to know. That'd be another of my favourites. But yeah. Mm. So old school base note technically because it is so sticky. I from think of it as oh, I thought you meant like millions base of years note ago. in terms of it, I old, thought you about old music. style. <laughs> no, no, no. I was actual, say actual like quite a woody, a wooden sort of sounding note but not a woody smelling note. It's a cello. Cello to you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because, partly because you take, music, take a, 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 a string instrument out of its case and all the rosin that's been hanging around with it and the varnish that's been put on with it, on mm. it to it over the decades before you owned it. That's, reminds me of that. But I feel that it's about that about that depth. But then cellos cover a lot of octaves. <laughs> but so I am odd. I'm going to be there. I am odd. Spooky spice. Good idea. And bergamot. Mm. And when you put it with the bergamot, you've got that Coca Cola kind of fizz again. 
Oh, oh yeah. You put me off now because I really don't like Coca Cola. Really? Yeah. I don't no, never really have care for Coca Cola that much, mm. but probably like the smell and flavour to some extent. Yes, yeah, it's, it's more herbal than people think, mm. isn't it? It's basically vanilla, cinnamon, cinnamon orange. Yeah. Yeah. Orange. You can make Coca Cola and cocaine. Well. Yeah. Obviously not anymore. And Although they do still. Colouring. Monsanto do still, they're still the biggest importer into America of coca leaves, aren't they? I don't know. Sure, they do They do still use coca leaves, but not the, the cocaine bit of it. I don't know, I really did. Because that's what makes the difference between, I was listening to a thing about Monsanto, and that's the, that's the difference between Pepsi and Coke, is that Pepsi aren't allowed to import coca leaves because it's illegal. Monsanto is the only company that's allowed to import no. coca leaves into North America. I, I think it. someone will probably correct me. Well, we'll see if I know. I feel like the cashmere is too strong here, but that's because it is neat. Yeah. Tiny amounts, but yes. Sorry. Do you no, think no, the cashmere is too strong? For me. Compared with yeah. the other things. I think that I, I want it to be at 200% or 300%. I want it to. I want them to make it even more smelly. Just bathe in it, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, Get it warmed up and just pour it on you. That was, the, that was, I, I was know. deliberately doing that. I know you were. Um, oh, yeah, I'm getting a bit. 500%. I am getting a bit of Coca-Cola out of this. Well, because, I mean, the stuff was, was, was legal to about the 1960s, I mean, in the UK anyway. Mm-hmm. What if we smell it next? Ooh, well. I know. We'll do a base. Which I won't show you. An actual base. Oh, so many discussions we have about bases and the chords and whether you should use bases or you shouldn't use bases and not bass notes. Nothing to do with bass notes. This is so a base is a blend of materials which a company which is better at this than me has made in order to either replace or improve uh, an aroma that already exists or extend or bring the price down. I simultaneously like it and dislike it. It's called Tabaro and it's made by Cineron Naptis and I just love it. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. So it's, goes, it's got a little bit of a hint of tobacco there, it's in the name. But kind of like a sandalwoody, but it also kind of reminds me of ammonia. Does it? Hmm. Yeah. I fortunately, fortunately it doesn't remind me of that. Even when you say that, and normally if somebody says something, it drops into your head. I don't get that. It's weird. I don't get that. Um, I'm just currently I'm bathing in a bath of potpourri. There is. Oh yeah, my goodness! It is yes, it's the nineteen seventies. Yeah, just like something very old-fashioned, but like a hint. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. It's yeah, got yeah. experience. I'm this. liking parts of it and then disliking parts of it. It's really weird. Like I keep kind of yeah coming back to it and be like ooh ooh. <laughs> but yeah. I used this in a fragrance for a client, and uh, because it had it needed a certain uh, vintage feel to it. I'm pretty Definitely sure. I think you could just bottle this and sell it as a fragrance. Oh yeah, yeah. Do jolly Definitely. well off the shelves of the um, you know. If you, you put it at the maximum it's allowed and it smells like, I don't know, the insides of old cars and gentlemen's cars or something. Yeah, it does. Very well polished. Whatever it is, I think they're very well polished. Just <laughs> like seeing what it's like with each of the other... It does go well with the cashmere, huh? I... I feel like the bergamot modernises it to some extent. And... Benzoin just makes it more warm and syrupy. Mm. Yeah, I think this is probably my least favourite so far. How about our mint? Mm. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, which is Ooh, that's fascinating, no, that's isn't it? Weird. Oh, the mint with this is really weird. I quite like it with the mint. Really? Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like it's it, it's quite exciting. It's See, like, I, I don't want to do that because today I just want to smell things individually. I just want to kind of <coughs> bathe my brain in. I mean, I did, but I, I just want to. Just it, it's, it's so it's so, so very tempting. 
some sort of association that isn't good, because it, which is usually it's why like a we don't like strangely things. uncomfortable visceral reaction, considering it's something that's just a material. So it's very interesting. Oh, but anything going we back smell, to it, it's, and I'm it's like, never, mm, it's never it. just the thing. If we smell yeah. something, is it? We got here. You could have your own Ooh, nice boat car for when you did me a sound. No, he wants us to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that for you. Mm. I didn't look. You're well, really I've in, got the, in the got musk mood, aren't you? <laughs> I'm always in a musk mood. This is true. <sighs> <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I just love it. This is Helvetolide, everybody. Yeah, it's interesting because I was I was assuming you'd gone for ethylene brasilate, but you love that as well. Got it over here. I like ethylene brasilate, but Helvetolide is it's just loneliness to it. Yeah, I just I just again, it's in all these things. I just want them, I just wanted to be more of it self. Uh, Helvetolide is the one that is said to smell like. Pears and Habana light smells like hot metal, apparently. Am I correct? Think I'm correct? Mm. You could get that kind of slightly fruity association, but I wouldn't say it smells like pears, it smells like maybe a part of the smell of a pear. If that makes sense. Yeah. But I would call this metallic. It is a little also bit powdery and clean. There is a smell which I have not smelt for a long time, for obvious reasons. Which is, if you're sitting in the back of the car, and someone is in the front of the car smoking a cigarette, <laughs> but with the window open, so it's all going out the window. Mm -hmm. so my godfather used to. Just I was wondering about, how old you were. <laughs> I remember being <laughs> him driving the car back when he used to smoke, and I'd be sat in the back, and there would be this metallic smell that is nothing like a cigarette mm. doesn't smell like a cigarette but it's there's something it's probably yeah it's all the no noxious gases interesting but it is a musk so it's generally quite soft and generally quite backgroundy and, and not very long lasting doesn't make too much of itself no in a really cool way mm -hmm. like it really knows itself it's very comfortable. I feel like you're admiring its personality, really. Yeah. I if, see if there were personalities. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's how, it's how I make them work together, otherwise I can't make them work together. So I think... Come on, get along now. Yeah, Helvetolide is the person I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be more Helvetolide. Cool and... and cool, yeah. just really comfortable. Yeah. Confident. With a wicked sense of humour. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I, um. It's a sense of humour, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that you're possibly assigning a little too many... Um, it could have a sense of humour? No, 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 I don't. Let him love, him. <laughs> love himself in... in Helvetalite form. form. Yeah. <laughs> you're, there's your coil form and then there's Helvetalite form. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> um... Well, it's you again then. Rosh needs to go. So, um, let's go over to a slightly <coughs> more. At some point, the um, I got excited and the recording yeah. stopped at some point. I think I did get it recording again very quickly. So, oh. if there was a bit missing out of this, I apologise. Yeah, there's plenty going on. We might not get through all. I don't think we will. We would. Okay, that's what I'll do. Here we go. So, you know, um, last week um, yeah. that we were here with so Harry, Harry, just yeah. just while Roshni's doing this, yeah. uh, and I said that you could, I discovered that you could chew frankincense. Yes. I chewed, I've got some frankincense at home, I'll have a little chew of it. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Yeah. It's better than chewing gum. But you, you can't do it for very long, can you, do they think? No, yeah, I, I could. Had it in all afternoon, it was very nice. Oh, okay. Felt very, uh, made my mouth feel very clean. Mm. It's nice. I think it does have some like antibacterial it qualities. Does. It, it does. It does. Yeah. yeah, that's why and, it's so um, bad. analgesic as well, like um, slightly painkiller mm. qualities. Yeah, yeah. It's very. And good. it's been used I'm for like gonna... thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. 
That was one of my choices. <laughs> Is it? But it's not the one I chose right now. Yeah, I love frankincense. Yeah, let me see. Hmm. Tell us, Sarah. Okay. It's one of the Iononiority things, but I don't know which one. What do you think? What do, what do I think it is? Or how That's a futile it, question for me. How does it make you feel? Um, it smells it? to me of um, uh, new shoes from Clarks. That's interesting. That is interesting. That I can well, see with that composition cells. slight yeah. rubbery aspect yeah. there. Is it alpha? It's alpha, yeah. Good. Damn it, I'd have gone for gamma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it is, it's interesting because um, sometimes it comes over as very, very palmer violet -y, but, but more when you blend it with things, mm, it and leaps out it. It's, it's definitely it's more got slightly earthy by itself. Aspect, but less than gamma. Mm. And yeah, quite earthy and powdery. I would say gamma has more of the like raspberry tones. Well, well. I have methyl iron and gamma, and iron and gamma and iron and beta. I, I mean, methyl iron and gamma is my absolute favourite all of them, because it's yeah, it's just so it's everything. It's fruity and huggy and gorgeous. This I find quite disdainful and dry. Mm, like she's judging you. <laughs> Not quite as badly as aldehyde. She's hanging out. She's oh. hanging out with helvetolide over there in the corner. <laughs> no, helvetolide's a bit more of a like cool but not necessarily cold person. Yeah. So maybe they get on. Alpha. I think they get on. They get on. I know Alpha yeah. could be a little bit of a cold person, but once you get to know her better. I think Helvetolide... Oh, they do smell good together, don't they? They do. I think Helvetolide quite enjoys the coldness. Okay, then I find I do want to put and these warms together. Up. See. Yeah. Oh, see? There you he go. Warms <laughs> but, but, back to our Cashmere, and where is he? <clears throat> now this I'm is a not, cool I'm gang. I feel like these these are these people are too cool for me. Like I would not yeah. fit into this gang at all. They wow! Well, I see. I feel like I'm too cool for them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see how it is. Well, the trouble is, you actually, you actually are these days. Aren't you? So, <laughs> I think these are the ones who would stand leaning against the wall, just looking at everybody else, mm. but actually not taking any notice of them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's not malice. So it wouldn't matter because they malice, just, they just they just they just like Yeah. Oh, no, back to that one, which that wasn't for me. The Tabarone. Yeah, I just, um... That's interesting. I do like the pearl violet like effect, so and I do much. like... Yeah, I just feel like it's a personality that's above me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't think enough of myself. It's literally just an ingredient. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I feel exactly the same about aldehydes, so I really do. It's like... I'm avoiding them because they're just so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are a bit sharp, aren't they? They're a bit vicious. Oh, I, I, I just find them... They judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a thing. I did mine already. Mm. Mm. Wants to play with everyone. Mm. And it was a bit childish and fun-loving and... So it's, it's the, the myth of compliments. Whereas it should be the miti pomplumus, I suppose, or the methyl grapefruit. But, so if you want a grapefruit smell, you don't use grapefruit essential oil, you use this. Is this 5%? Yes. No, 10. It's a 10. Mm. I lie. Okay, my peppermint is still going up my nose. Where is it? It's yeah, like right I, there. I moved mine out of, out of distance okay. because I, I, I forgot that I had it at 100 and I should have dipped just the tip. Uh, less than children. Yeah. Don't do like mm. Auntie Sarah does and dip 100% strength. Lots of stuff. So I think this one's young. Yeah. Bouncy. Well. There's this thing about the smell of grapefruit that's supposed to be that if, if you smell of grapefruit, people perceive you as younger than you are. Yeah. So maybe you're right. So. Uh, I made a fragrance once for a group of uh, women who were out there and they, they went, we need grapefruit in it. <laughs> it makes you look younger. Uh, apparently when people smell it and they look at you, they think, 
if you were grapefruity, then you must be younger than you. I mean, not that I care about, so I care so little mm. about the age thing. It's quite but it's kingly, interesting. Isn't it? <clears throat> but if it feels like it reminds people of childhood, maybe it has that fancy. So if we go back to the bergamot, people often, I've noticed, like mistake bergamot for grapefruit. Because you do have that sort of bitterness that you would get with a grapefruit, but mm -hmm. obviously this is not a natural nope. grapefruit as well. It's the idea of grapefruit almost. It's yeah, it's like the ultimate of grapefruitness. Yeah, it's but... the, the nicest dust of grapefruit bits. <laughs> but um, going back to the bergamot as well, yeah, it's quite interesting. I feel yeah. almost like the bergamot is more grapefruit than the grapefruit is at the moment, but that's because... That's not really grapefruit. It's not really grapefruit, yeah. Bergamot is just so calm, and this one's a bit bing, I think. I wouldn't say it's calm, but it's definitely yeah. older. This one's mm. a little fizzy, poppy. See, I think that the grapefruit gives the impression of being fizzy and young, but... When you spend some time with it's it... It's actually quite sophisticated. It's very it is. stable. There's I a mean, weird, dark yeah. underside to it. I feel like I'm in a um, confectionery shop, but there's loads of cobwebs under the counter. Mm. <laughs> it's, um, in, like, it's got a dark side to it. I don't know if I trust it. I wouldn't call the dark side the cobwebs. I don't though. trust the grapefruit. Don't trust it. <laughs> the grapefruit is on the bottom. Don't no, the grapefruit. grapefruit. I don't trust it. Yeah. So you think it's not as fun and fizzy as it seems on the outside it's got like a I don't know if I've just a, been I don't know if I've just been completely swayed by you saying that people wear it to try to seem younger and I'm going facet. it feels like they're hiding oh, something hiding. <laughs> like five six years ago it was the one of those stupid things that gets repeated around the press somebody's put it in a press release somewhere and everybody's suddenly like oh it, this happens but it doesn't <clears> I don't think it really works you know when yeah. there's academic research papers, exploratory research happens and it's done on 12 people and 7 say this and 5 say that, so it's not even statistically yeah. significant yeah. and yet they release it and the Daily Mail publishes a story and then the next thing and blows people out think they're actually true. And then you realise that it was funded and by the later. people who, who sell me some pomplumous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's going to be another mystery. Thank you. You'll know straight away. <laughs> I think I might have picked it too. Well, I should. So, and of course I don't because I'm. My my brain has switched off. Really? I know that I'm under pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's coomerin. Oh, oh that wow. marzipan effect. Yeah, I'd have said I was going with the 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 balsamic sweet end of the cupboard and I was working around well it's not Poppernax and it's not Lavender and it's not that so I would have ended up with Tonka but of course yeah, it's, yeah it's Coomerin but I love how Coomerin has to me it's got lots of facets like I really get that marzipan sweetness almondy bit mm. but I also get that sort of dried hay effect yeah did we have the, the horse conversation? Did you ever? Did you, you didn't grow up with a horse? Somebody was it? You grew up with horses. I didn't grow up with horses. No, but you can ride a horse. Did you ever play around stables? No. Somebody was in here recently who was a, a, a familiar with horses because what I found is that Coomerin, on my my tours around the country doing little workshops for. Um, this, I don't know, a gin company. Who was I working for? I can't even remember. But you go to the the botanist um, bars in little villages in Cheshire, and they'd all say, "Oh, it's hay." It's like you got a horse. Yes. Oh, that's because interesting. The people who knew the smell of hay, whereas most city dwellers, no clue what hay smells like, so they're not familiar with it. So they just go up marzipan. Well, I'm a bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> then you know what hay smells yeah. like because you've worked I know with hay, hay absolute. Like. So that's true. That's true. But I also did grow up mostly in the countryside. So yeah. yeah, likewise. Mm. Yeah, I would get hay. Oh yeah, it it's not compulsory horse. Um, I get hay. I just get like this makes me feel like it. It's got magical properties. Mm. It feels like it should be in a potion or some description. Yeah, it is. It's in old sport. We, yeah. There we go. Which is a lovely potion. And the magnificent mystery. Material. But it's it's just great. This I does, just think it's just really banging. It does actually really bring me back 
to my childhood because I was around hay more back then. Right. Funny enough, and around marzipan more probably as well. Um, <laughs> so it does actually, yeah, feel quite nostalgic. Do you know what? That's reminding me. I'm going to make some marzipan. You can make it? Is it easy to do? Yeah, it's just almonds. sugar and almonds. That's it? I'll let you know when I've made it. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> what's in it. In. Only because I, I looked it up last week and it was... It's, yeah, you can make it at home. Mm, bring some in then. Yeah. Okie dokie. That's a bit like when people... I say, but I make perfume for a living. People say, you can make it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like, you can make marzipan. Like, how, well, how do you think it grows on the trees? I mean, like, yeah. I assume somebody can <clears> make it. Like, yeah. I, just got, I saw a thing this morning. Yeah. I rem remembered when the BBC on April Fool's Day did uh, that spaghetti tree thing. Yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, that was a long time ago. It was, it was back in the black and white days, yeah. before they invented colour. Yeah, well colour existed, they just couldn't show it on television. No, it didn't exist. No, it didn't exist. The, the world was in black and white was, back like, then. Right, yeah. yeah. I just feel like saying hey, because yeah. it's just like hey. And, and now I'm, <laughs> I'm just, just going off a tangent. I'm just beating myself <laughs> off, but just not going, come on. But it's just... Yeah, that's I, okay. Process of deduction. But it's also, um, I also like it because of its history, obviously being, you know, yeah. back Perkin. with Mr. Mr. William Perkin and, yeah. Yes. It's the first synthesised Well, it turns thing, out was it, it? it was the first one that people knew about. Right. But looking back, there were other things synthesised and used in perfumery before that. Right. But as the industry continues to do, they were still secret. Right, yeah. So... Uh, there were other things around mm. at the time, like benzoacetate, I think I've this late. I've got, I've got the book somewhere that mm. lists them. But yeah, it's, it was uh, that one that got used in fern fragrances to pretend there was a natural fern smell. Did you want to dip something? Or shall I? Yeah, yeah, let's. I'm um, Hesitating. I think. Oh, well, since we I don't know. We'll do both of them anyway. Oh, yeah. This is a fun game. I like this. This is a fun, fun, fun format that you've created. My nose is very happy today. Doing, and my brain. Just doing loads of fun things. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. There it is. Mm -hmm. mm. It's funny, now that you've said you were... Biting, you were chewing on it. Now I feel mm. like I want to bite it. Mm. I just want to bite everything. Oh, you did, don't worry. Don't worry. You shouldn't let me in the lab again. <laughs> Where have all the scent strips gone? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so I have two, and I'm terrible at telling them apart. It's the but first one. I'm okay. I'm going Carteria. I wouldn't know which. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I think but, that was on the bottle. So, oh right. <laughs> I was hoping. What's your other one though? I have Serrata as well. Yeah. Frankincense. Did we? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we Frank. About... This is frankincense, Sorry, Frank. everybody. Yeah. We were. Yeah, we were talking about chewing frankincense earlier, and um, it's one of my choices. And now it smells it. chewy. You see. It does smell chewy, doesn't which it? Is, maybe this is why people want to write these things down without discussing them in a trio, because we want to yeah, always go with things. your first instinct and then discuss it, I think. <clears throat> but I, I just really love the way it's like peppery and also mm. like a bit mucky and animalic, but like fresh and like resinous, but crisp, but it's just so much. <laughs> it reminds me now of coffee hmm. because of... Ethiopian coffee ceremonies. All oh, right. You don't drink coffee unless you're burning frankincense. I did not know that. Oh. But also, I love the fact that it's again one of those ingredients that's been used for thousands and thousands and thousands of years yep. for like everything, medicinal, herbal, first perfumes. Mm. It's just so cool. And it just comes from a tree. I also do. Yeah. Smell it as cooling. It seems cooling. Hmm. I do think it's quite cooling and quite soothing as well. I use it in meditation blends. I mean, it is, it is, it's been used in all kinds of temples and you know, rituals for so long because it's 
amazingly calming. It's supposed to sort of to connect your thoughts to the whatever else is out there. Yeah, I because like a lot yoga. of things smell nice when they burn, but frankincense has got something a little bit more. Yeah, than it that. does feel like it lifts your spirits. Like it. Just mm. like, I don't know if you've got like the sort of intensity or pressure in your head. It almost feels like it eases that. Mm. 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 Stuff. And it's so nice. Yeah, it's got lots of excellent properties. It's so much well. like fresher and got like flash to it that than yeah. than the, the the gum. The essential oil is just so bright. I find. I put it. With but there is still that kind of like slightly mucky undertone, like muddy, murky, borderline animalic undertone. I think. Mm. But yeah, it is very flash. Is a good way of describing that. I think. The brightness. Maybe I'm just not looking for muckiness. I'll mm. try. I've got that kind of slight muckiness from it. I like it. I just, yeah, it's so multifaceted. It's so nice. I'm beginning to learn that what I'm looking for in something is not multifacetedness. You like the sort of straight... I'd like, I'd of... like to try and go, how clearly can I see something? Mm. And... Mm. I'm finding this really interesting. That is so interesting. It's... We're almost opposites in that sense. But I imagine that it's easier to make perfume if you see it, like if you categorise things like I, that. I wonder if that's oh. the way that I, I have approached it. I don't think that anybody else necessarily approaches it the way I did, because, because yeah. I like the fact that, because it's got multifaceted aspects, then you can pair it with something else, and it goes one to way bring out and certain... put it something else, and it goes a different way. Like, I think that's how I see it. Oh, I'm always interested to see what happens, and I'm always surprised to find what you know how something hides. In that, I thought that the bergamot almost disappeared when, as soon as we put it with whatever it was, we put it with. And um, but by themselves, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. interesting. Trying it out with. I'm gonna have to see if I can open extra little doors in the brain. That at the moment, my brain is just going. No, don't worry, I'm going to put this aside because it just keeps going back to her and it's like... What's that, the peppermint? Tabarone. Oh, yeah, tabarone. Base, yeah. Yeah, I've got that over here. I'll... Yes, it's very... It does weird things to me. I uh, like it. It makes me like slightly nauseated somehow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like literally a visceral kind of reaction. There is, okay. yeah, there is something oh, about it. That's... Quite. That's all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like this sort of sandalwoody, almost incense-y kind of side, and then I really right. like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It I smells... It. it just really definitely, like, I, I hate something about it. Mm. It smells like a shop that Which would sell crystals. <laughs> yeah, like they're burning that kind of, like, patchouli incense, yeah. old-fashioned thing. I it smells like a shop. We're going to go in and we're going to go, can I have my moonstone, please? Because it'll... Get rid of my headache. Oh, but the frankincense is so good. Alright, let's try this then. What are we moving on to? Let's wow. see. Ooh, pretty colours. Yeah. Oh my god. Here we yes. go. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will like. Okay. This definitely reminds me of my childhood. Um, my sister and I used to go, well, with my parents, to this amazing. Beeswax. Wax. Absolute yes. beeswax. Yeah. We used to go to this amazing little tent um, around Christmas time where you could make your own beeswax candles and it was like, well not a little tent, it was a big oh, yeah. tent. Yeah, I was, I was wondering. Th there yes. were like vats of melted beeswax and the entire thing smelled like beeswax and you could make your own beeswax candles and the smell was to die for, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Mm. So this is obviously not vegan but um, the wonderful Christophe Lord, you made a, a film last week with it was about what's vegan and what's not and it reminded me very much of my friend Benoit the one who just sold his um, company that makes like, digital trainers to Nike that's right yeah <laughs> so Ben he used to work for Nike he's, he's, they're like he's, NFTs aren't they those yeah, trainers he's yeah. just he is so cool but he's the only person that uh, the shop Colette in France ever employed who's the smile at the customers because it used to be banned they were all supposed to look so, so cool at everyone. Smiling they banned the smiling customers. Look, that was, that was <clears throat> Iron Alpha right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're talking about that. That's basically... Colette, 
close down eventually, but Ben used to work there and he insisted on smiling at everybody and they liked him. And so, but they couldn't fire him because people liked him. But, but, where the hell was I going with that? I have no idea. Talking about vegan, you're talking about Christoph. Christoph Ben once said when we were, we were in Paris translating the Lush Times into brands, as you do, and uh, the woman in charge of the project, Terry, she said she was vegetarian. And he, he said, well, can you eat this? And it was like, it was like the royal family going, what about thinly sliced ham? You know? yeah. Can you eat can this, can you eat that? And, and he said, well, how about snails? And she said, no, I'm vegetarian. He said, oh, they're practically salad. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, that's where they live. Yeah, yeah, in, in, yeah. The, in the lettuce. So, but... Um, uh, Christoph said beeswax is fine because the bees are finished with it. Um, but it's still not vegan. It is vegetarian, cause, cause, but it's not vegan because it is the produce of the bee. Sticking so the entire thing. Yeah, yeah stick it up your nose. Yeah, like. eat but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's it is a amazing. very. It is, uh, but it I is think this is it's not vegan. And I mean, yeah. look at this as well. It's like super gooey. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Yeah, took some getting out. I had to. I want to rub it on my lips, but I don't think it'd do anything, would it? Well, it's often put in balms and stuff as yeah. a component, but, but on its own, no. Yeah, because this is the this is the aromatic gonna... extract Ooh. of the beeswax. <laughs> it's not. It's also restricted. It's got lots of things in it that are, you know, it's it's much stronger it's got than actual beeswax. Its tail. So yeah, wipe that off. Um, I'll put there everywhere. <laughs> health and safety. Um, no, it's restricted. But um, yeah, <laughs> it is gorgeous and it is very tempting. But yeah, so that. But yes, it's so furnitury. Mm, yeah, because furniture because polish. Furniture, furniture polish. I mean, the, even I think that there's this furniture polish made to smell of beeswax, even if it isn't made even out more of beeswax. beeswax. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm. Light outside, it has gone it's really beautiful. nice. It's, it's, it's golden hour. Yeah, yeah. It's golden hour. Okay, I like hour. that golden. But it's not golden. Yeah, color. like sunlight dappled through leaves and mm. and water and stuff. Yeah. That's golden. Is not it? Like, it's, it's yeah. And blocks of cold I'm metal. Trying, I'm failing. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. What are we? Um, is it whose turn is it? It's, it's my turn. Now we're we're at an hour. <gasps> we need to do some work. Well, when we've we so, done, we've done four each. If I do Videos. one now, then we've then we've then we've done In, one. Oh my we've god! We finished the revolution. The longest one ever. Um, okay, then shall I go? Do they get edited down? No. <laughs> do we do long form. I can't afford them to edit. I need to afford him to sit here. Also, yeah. Yeah, I think that part of this is the long form thing. People have them on in the background while they make I'll their perfumes. Um, yeah. Okay, then Get I'm going to. Go for the more difficult of the of, of my choices. Okay. Are you testing us? Awesome. No, no, as in difficult to work with. I imagine. Oh, right. I was like, yeah. uh, are we getting tested here? Now I yeah. love this, but I know that it's incredibly difficult. Okay. We can save the others for another time. White birch. Yeah. Mm. I feel redeemed. This is white birch. <laughs> yes. That was so threatening. Yeah, I know. So. And it's um, it's got that kind of um, weird thing to say, but that kind of meaty aspect that quite good can have as well. It's mm. it's very yeah, barbecuey because barbecue because it's meat. so yeah wood on fire. Mm. It does. This is of... Christmas to I me. I promise I had oh, my lunch, yeah. but again, I want to eat this. Do you? Yeah. It, it's, oh, that... it's a bit jerky-ish. <laughs> Smoked something. Yeah, exactly. It's that barbecue kind of effect. Yeah. But it is, yeah, it's quite Christmassy because you've got that kind of smoked, woody, open fire sort of feeling to it as well. Yeah. Big zin blanket. The barbecue mm. effect. If someone has a barbecue on one side of the world, it causes a tornado on the other. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. It's... The butterfly effect, we're getting scientifically... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slightly warped butterfly effect that we now call... Someone cuts a shrimp, a shrimp yeah. on a barbie in Australia, causes tornadoes and... But it's a hot dog sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I missed that one. Um, yeah, I just so love this. When, when somebody describes difficult, you know, when they say something's difficult to work with, yeah. what it means is, use a little bit, otherwise you ruin everything. Yes. 
Yeah, peppermint is officially difficult, but a little bit you don't ruin everything. Yes. Other things that are difficult. What's traditionally called difficult? Have you used this in any of your perfumes? Yeah, yeah. It's in Another Kiss by the Fireside. Yes, oh, I Christmas, think th thing, that's yeah. will be one of the reasons why I love Another Kiss by the Fireside so much. Yeah, I really put a nice little one. bit in Saltburn Driftwood. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Do you remember uh, what, what's his name? Leo, the drummer from the Prodigy. Absolutely, I do. Yes. He had both his. Both London. All that's the, the one. ones. Yeah. yeah. There's cool. lots of. He, he goes mental on the White Birch, mm. doesn't he? <laughs> I think you probably will. Birch and Cade and yeah, all yeah. the smoky things. Yeah. He's got his own drinks brand now. Wow. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I think it's gin and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm Gonna have yes. to do another trial next time, maybe <laughs> off camera, <laughs> of gins. Oh yeah. Gins and well, we're going to bergamot mojitos. Yeah. The mojito. The mojito. Mojito. <laughs> con bergamot. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Cocktail, cocktail episode. Materials that you can also use in cocktails. If you, I honestly think if you practice perfumery you will become a much Better. Alcoholic. Mixologist. <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> 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 <laughs>